Thank you for checking out Auto Drills videos. Um, this is an instructional video for your loaner machine. Obviously, this machine is not fully assembled. There's no motor or anything. This is just a stock machine. When you switch from your adjustable multiple spindle head that will be mounted here to your fixed multiple spindle head that will be mounted here, you will have a different type of feed control uh, than this. In fact, you already have a different type of feed control than this, but you'll have a uh, what's called a plunger style feed control that's mounted on the multiple spindle head. Uh, so what you're going to want to do is remove this feed control and send it back to us along with the multiple spindle head that's here. In order to do that, you disassemble the collar, the snap ring, um, this block and, and pin back here. You can put the, the pin back in place and leave it there if you'd like or, or whatever, but we do need this feed control unit here, uh, this rod and all these small parts up here back. Another thing you may want to do is this collar here, you may actually want to just cut this right off. Um, I don't believe it's going to be in the way of what you're doing. Uh, however, depending on where you put the other hydro speed, uh, it may actually come back this way and strike into this, and this may be in your way. So one of the ideas is, if necessary, obviously just take a blade, and this is aluminum here. Just go ahead and cut this straight down and, and take it off. It'll be a little ugly on the surface here, um, but the drill will function just fine. So if you could just put all of these components in a box, pack them up very well, including the multiple spindle head, pack them up very well, and send them back to us, that would be greatly appreciated. UPS has a bad uh, habit of damaging packages on returns uh, because a lot of times you're not going to have the same packing materials we do uh, so if you would just make sure that they're packaged up to be dropped off of the conveyor run over by the truck whatever you think the UPS driver might do to it that would be greatly appreciated thank you so much